but yeah, this, this is actually like, this is actually pretty stacked. I feel like the more I talk about it, the more I'm realizing I was like, wait a minute, this is a pretty stacked tournament tonight. It's Arizona, uh, you, yeah. you, and, and you're in an area with a very, very strong concentration of some of the best the state has to offer. Yep. Um, but, you know, right now, we're, we're going to get into the action a little bit. We got our boys coming up right now. We got Glip, son of Glip, and Are You Okay, uh, who's rocking the Terry cosplay, as you can see in the player camp right now. For sure. I don't think I've seen them enter before. Like, I, I doubt that they're... I mean, maybe it could be wrong. Maybe their whole tag is "Are you okay?" or maybe they just put it as that on Smash GG for uh, for the cosplay. But either way, I don't think I don't think I've seen. Them they're before, playing banjo. But... Boo! They're playing banjo with a what? Why? Why would you Terry cosplay and play banjo? Dude, Not he's like, dude. Please. That actually, wait, time out. That's the meta. He threw he that's awesome. the, cast, the casters off. Yeah, that, that's that's a pretty good fake out, actually. I'm not gonna lie. I, hey, man, I, I I made a Terry jacket. I wore it to my first tournament. I played Samus. I was about to say, I'm like, who did you play? Yeah, there you go. Dude, I I, I ran with the narrative too that uh -huh. uh, I was a Terry main and I was just I was just sandbagging. I won the whole thing. <laughs> it was so good. <laughs> anyway, good guys. Costly. Yeah, but no, we're in for uh, the point stands. We're in for a very hype night of some uh, some of the best Smash Ultimate the country has to offer. Um, you know, people want to pog for Zeno, they want to pog for Juice Box, all that stuff. But now nah, we got pure Smash here. And uh, it is the pure essence of Arizona Smash. Exactly. Yeah. I mean, you know, yeah. There's, there's a ton of other great tournaments that go on, even like on a weekly basis. So it's great to see a MSM back in action. Absolutely. But don't forget that we've been at it for a minute now, and, and here we are. Here we are running it back one more time for uh, Pure Smash number seven tonight. And so far, we got our first match with Ryuk and Glip. Pretty even on the uh, percentage right now. Yeah, uh, the, the neutral wins and the chip damage are definitely in the favor of Are You Okay? But then Glip will just hit like side B or you know uh, a, a couple of those the big devastating long range options from uh, Violet and even in right up. And you know what? I don't remember the exact results, but I do believe Glip was actually the winner or the runner up for uh, amateur bracket the last time. So when oh there you go they were the, they were the winner. Yeah, they were the winner, and here we have him back at it again. Uh, doing pretty well in his first round, so hopefully uh, he'll be able to outperform his uh, previous run and maybe even make it out of Amateur's Bracket. Yeah, and this is a free venue for them too, uh, considering they won the Amateur Bracket last week. Exactly. That's another thing worth noting so, here, so I, I doubt he has any intentions of uh, of going out on an early note this time around. I, I'm inclined to agree, but hey, even if they don't, that's that's no loss from them, because this venue was covered for, for them, so they can't feel too bad. Exactly. I mean, regardless of that, we do we do have a pretty great block there. There's a lot of shield pressure, so obviously yeah. that's like a something that you don't want to invest into too much if you don't need to. But uh, so pretty good that they have that awareness. I, I definitely know that uh, I know a lot of people can get get mixed up by side beasts just coming out of like disadvantage and stuff like that. It can be uh, very devastating if you're not playing it out correctly. So that's great to see that awareness there from Blue's part. Right, and and we got our we got uh, are you okay? Just kind of. Stalling him out using these uh, projectiles. The Ooh. Oh! But Glyph catching second. him out in the open with that. Yeah, second time we got that in this first match here. Oh my gosh. So we might beautiful. need to be seeing our uh, Are You Okay maybe change up the game plan a little bit if he's trying to uh, avoid getting hit by that again. Right. They're going to have a go. really difficult time because uh, they're on their last stock. Oh, okay. Yeah. But they catch that landing down there. Excellent. Excellent follow up on that there because I, I know like. Uh, you can combo out a down throw for sure, and you can sometimes even get like straight up like KO confirms. But when you're like at that lower like 70% range, it's good to be going for mix-ups like that, so that we can get something that otherwise wouldn't have been guaranteed. Yeah, Smash is a really good game because there is that mix-up variety, like those options you can pick. Like, oh, you have a confirmed kill here, and and people are going to be ready for that, so they're going to try to avoid that one thing. But they're still busy avoiding that one thing. They're not ready for the other options to come oh, yeah. out. And, and and that's why that's why this game is so sick because people just pull out stuff that like oh my my, my down throw didn't work but I instead got you know the forward air off. Oof. Yeah, that, that's definitely something that any good fighting game is gonna be um having there for for you to like learn and just kind of like adapt with. It's a really great really really great mechanic that kind of like inadvertently comes with any good fighting game. But here we have our last lock situation. And it seems to be somewhat in favor of Glip at the moment, percentage-wise, but Are You Okay is actually holding their own, uh, preventing yeah. Glip from getting in for any sort of uh, kill confirm at the moment. It, it, it's the chip damage that's starting to add up. But on top of yes. that, we have a couple of Wonder Wings back on the table still. 
Oh, and yeah, they expected the cross up with that with that air dodge, but they actually whipped on the F tilt. And uh, now Stage Real Estate kind of in you know neutral setting right now, but there's three Wonder Wings left on the table. Oh, and an excellent oh. catch with an up B onto stage, uh, being caught by an up smash is going to be closing out game number one in Blip's favor. Great job clutching it out, because uh, Are You Okay was definitely finding that good fight. Uh, like you said, tying up that percentage to where it ended up being uh, pretty down to the wire at the end of that first game there. Yeah, there wasn't a moment Are You Okay was out of the match. And they actually had the lead for a good portion of it, but it was these long disjointed hitboxes that packed quite a punch from... Uh, Bert, or sorry, did I say Bert? What is wrong with me? From Glip. <laughs> From Glip, there you go. To be uh, the, the, the determining factor of this match, I, I feel. Yeah, definitely going to be a make or break at the moment here. Since, of course, this is going to be best of three in winners round one. So, um, oh, it looks like we're going to be getting one heck of a counter pick. I mean, Town and City, we, we usually don't get that this early in bracket, but me, Garner, that's a counter pick we don't get ever. <laughs> Oh, he thought about it though. Oops. Yeah. Oh, Min oh, Min Min. Okay. Min Min. We got okay. a, a DLC Lord over here. Yeah, we, we went but... from a from a ten dollar match uh, between Byleth and Banjo Kazooie. Now we got ourselves a total of fifteen dollars. Actually, actually, oh, we're up at twenty. We're up at twenty dollars because of the Terry cosplay too. Oh, true. There you go. You Bro, this there. is a very expensive tournament. A very expensive tournament. Coming out to a total of like 20 bucks right now. Dude, this is the most expensive round one that we've seen in Smash history. Exactly. This is like two venue fees. <laughs> yeah, honestly, right it is. Oh, what a Holy string cow. there. Literally. Talk about strings. These guys got them. Okay, great spacing on that side B there. And now we got ourselves a, a pretty good start to game three, I feel like. Not, not really too slanted in anyone's favor at the moment. Yeah, I'm kind of concerned with how close and personal Are You Okay has been playing uh, with the Min Min. Uh -huh. Because the thing about Min Min that makes Min Min specifically so powerful is that they can use those long arms uh, and disjoints to keep opponents out. Oh! And those tilts especially. Oh hard my board, but... goodness. Yeah, yeah, they can be very crucial, but I mean, hey, one, one heck of an edge guard there, even if he did have to go a little ham. Uh, cost... uh, did he fastball? I think he might have fastballed in the land, and that's probably why he ended up losing that stock. Yeah, my, Man, that was they're already at 72. Yeah. It was a, little, a little bit stylish, but it seems like REOK is doing a great job at catching on to uh, a lot of the neutral options. It seems like that uh, counterplay that was being made towards the end of game one with Vandal Kazooie's uh, long range options is being put into play pretty well here with this Min Min switch. Word. Oof. Okay, but again, Flip always able to just pull one out out of nowhere. And uh, catch Are You Okay unawares with uh, the forward airs or the smash attacks. Oh man, yeah. And it, yeah, the Glip was doing a pretty good job, like you said. It's just staying one step ahead, I guess, would be the simpler way to put it. Just one step ahead. But right now, it seems like Are You Okay is basically caught on. Caught up and has brought it back to a last lock situation here. Oh my oh, god! Dead. Whoa! Oh, Lord! What did that hit? Where did that hit? Dude, it hit her toesies, lady, bro. Oh my god. What are you doing? Like, we're getting a replay, right?